The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Wednesday, September 22, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Washington Nationals vs Miami Marlins. The Nationals pitching staff has been poor this season. As a team, they are bottom 10 in ERA, runs allowed, home runs allowed, and batting average against. The Nationals are in the middle of the league in hits allowed and whip. Hernandez struggled with command, walking five batters. He had only walked five total batters in his previous four starts. The 26-year-old has had a strong season, hosting a 3.59 ERA through 42.2 innings. Washington has been good to average on offense this season. The Nats are top 10 in hits, batting average, OBP, and ops. They are in the middle of the league in runs, RBIs, and SLG. The Nationals will not make the playoffs this season. They have fallen to last in the division and are set to be in a rebuild mode. Our first betting advice is to pick Miami Marlins. The Marlins pitching staff has been pretty good this season for Miami. Giving up the long ball has not been an issue, as they rank top 5 in home runs allowed. They are above average in ERA, hits allowed, runs allowed, whip, and batting average against. Left fielder Juan Soto leads the way with 146 hits and a .315 average. He ranks 4th in the MLB in batting average. The Nationals traded Tree Turner and Josh Harrison earlier this year, leaving first baseman Josh Bell as the only other threat in the lineup. He has 118 hits, including a team-high 27 home runs. Washington will be facing a Miami pitching staff that ranks 9th in the MLB, with a team ERA of 3.87. Right-hander Josiah Gray will start for Washington on Wednesday. He allowed five runs across 5.1 innings against Colorado in his last start. Gray has struggled this year, entering Wednesday's game with a 6.24 ERA over 53.1 frames. Our second betting advice is to pick over 7. Texas Rangers vs New York Yankees. The outing jumped Hearn from a 3.99 ERA to a 4.52 ERA. He will try and get back on track in this tough road tilt with the Yankees. The Rangers will continue to trot out the youngster, considering they have nothing to play for at this point of the season, and gauging what they have for next year. It's been a brutal season for the boys down south. Texas's lineup started the season looking like it could be a force to help them compete in the division, but the teams and fans alike quickly learned that wouldn't be the case. The Rangers rank 29th in baseball in runs per game and batting average, as well as 27th in hits per game and home runs per game. Over the last week, I say Akiner Falifa has been on an absolute tier, hitting .391. Besides that though, the Rangers' offense has struggled to say the least. They have multiple starters hitting below .200, including Nate Lowe hitting only .095. Having to stack up against the potentially potent offense of the Yankees will be a tough task on Wednesday, and it'll take a complete and perfect night from the entire lineup to make that happen. Our first betting advice is to pick New York, minus 1.5. The Yanks have been reeling at a bad time, allowing the Blue Jays to creep into the Al Wild card. The Bombers have 11 of their last 16 games and will need to get back on track in this series against the deplorable Rangers. Coming into play on Wednesday, they are 1.5 games back of the Red Sox and Blue Jays for the two occupied playoff spots. The Yankees held the spot for a long period before a torrid streak by the Blue Jays. This is a huge spot for them against a lesser opponent. Our second betting advice is to pick under 8.5. Quick reminder, Bavada is an online sportsbook and casino established in 2011. The platform offers betting on all major sport and horse racing leagues. It has slots, table games, blackjack, and a variety of other casino games. All of the major US leagues are available for betting, including the NFL, NBA, NHL, MLB, and PGA. 
In addition, Bavada allows wagers on esports, Olympic events, soccer, cricket, boxing, cycling, and many more competitions. Join Bavada now using our link down below and get access to all sorts of premium sport welcome bonuses after signing up and making your first deposit. Baltimore Orioles vs Philadelphia Phillies the Phillies 31-year-old righty is riding a four-game winning streak with nods over the New York Mets Colorado Rockies, Milwaukee Brewers and Washington Nationals. It has been a sensational turnaround since his three-game losing slump back in August. To top it off, he'll be throwing against an Orioles offense that isn't quite there yet as far as talent and execution. At the plate, Baltimore does not have the talent to make up for the poor performance by its pitching staff. The Orioles are only 17th in team batting average at .240, 18th in slugging percentage at .405, and have scored the 26th most runs with 620. Two players have done the most damage at the plate for Baltimore this season. Cedric Mullins has the best batting average .301, the most hits with 169, with 29 home runs and 56 RBIs. Ryan Mountcastle is leading the Orioles in both home runs and RBIs, with 30 and 83 respectively. Our first betting advice is to pick Philadelphia Phillies, minus 1.5. The Phillies have to continue to make plays on offense. They're clearly better than what they showed in the opener when they were held scoreless for all nine innings. They have to be better when they're slashing .241.319.409 on the season. A matchup with Keegan Akin gives them an opportunity to get things moving at the plate, while Wheeler tries to shut things down on the other end. Our second betting advice is to pick under 8. New York Mets vs Boston Red Sox. The rookie could also be fading down the stretch after never pitching more than 72 innings in a single minor league season. His current ADT innings pitched would represent a career high mark at any professional level. Taewyn Walker, 7-10 4.27ERA 1.17 whip, is on the mound for Game 2 of this series, and in his last start gave up two runs on three hits in five innings in a 4-3 loss to the Philadelphia Phillies. The Mets have lost nine of his last ten starts, including his last two, and in the two starts previous to the last one he gave up 11 runs in 10 and one-third innings. Walker has given up six HRs in his last three outings. This is his first appearance of the season facing the Red Sox. Our first betting advice is to pick New York Mets. It has been an up and down season for Medjil, who has flashed potential despite some unsightly season long numbers. The Mets right hander comes in striking out a healthy 10.15 batters and walking just 2.45 batters per nine innings of work. However, he has had problems with the long ball, giving up 1.79 home runs per nine during his rookie campaign. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.